we're starting prayer if you're just joining us uh, right here we're starting prayer we're in africa unity square and uh, we've gathered people for prayer here today all right everybody if you're out there come on out and join us we're starting prayer right here at the africa unity square spending one hour of prayer today praying for our nation zimbabwe praying for the change that we need praying that this time as we pray god would allow us to transition into the kind of zimbabwe that we have always wanted a zimbabwe without oppression a zimbabwe that is without evil a zimbabwe without corruption and a zimbabwe without a dictator god wants us to be free and we want what god wants for us so wherever you are, can a Maui Amuri Pano, Amuri Pano, Amuri Pano, Namata. We are in Tinamate. Tinamate la Nikayedu. Tinamate, you know, one hour. Tino Peta, not two o'clock. Quick, now to go to Kumabasa, not to get a Kumabasa. We will finish at two so that those who are going to work can go back to work. But today already is a momentous occasion. For you and me to gather here is a miracle. You know that it has not been previously allowed. So I'm going to see that for me, if you want to see that for me, if you want to see that for me, if you want to see that we would have been beaten and arrested if we were found standing right here praying for our nation. But we thank God today that a new day is here for Zimbabwe. A day of freedom. A day of freedom. Let me say that again. As we pray today, we want you to know that we don't hate Mugabe, but we do want him to go. We do want him to step down, and we want him to go well. But we want him to leave this country in the hands of the people of Zimbabwe, so that we can do what God has called us to do, which is to prosper, to live freely, and to flourish in our nation. So we have many prayer leaders that will lead here from the front. I want to ask you, we only have an hour. Engage as much as you can in prayer. And then we will carry on up until we are done. There are more people coming, but we are here to pray. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Can I ask you, we want to make a big announcement to the city right now. We are not afraid of anybody because we stand with God. Are you ready? I'm going to count to three and I'm going to ask you to give a big shout this afternoon. It's a shout of freedom and a shout of justice and a shout of peace. Are you ready? One, two, three. Yes. Thank you. I'll hand over to our MC and we'll get started. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Master Ivan. May I call upon uh, Tinashe to give us an opening prayer? Opening song. It's a song. So we want to thank God because this is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. And we're going to say there's no one like Jesus. Hakuna wakaita sa Jesus. Who has brought us here this time? Hakuna wakaita sa Jesus. Hakuna wakaita sa Hakuna, hakuna wakaita sa Jesus. Raise your voice. Hey, haku, haku, china. Hakuna, hakuna wakaita sa Jesus. Hakuna, hakuna wakaita sa Jesus. Hakuna. Hakuna wakaita sa je, hakuna haku haku, chini damanya damanya manya, kwese kwese da tendere, kwese kwese da chaga chaga, kwese kwese haku haku chini. There's no one, there's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one, there's no there's no one, there's no one, there's no one like you. There's no one, there's no one, there's no one like you. There's no one, there's no one, there's no one like you. Look at all these people, man. There's no one, 
there's no one like Oh, come on, let me see you, gentlemen. The Zimbabwe flags everywhere. We're having such a wonderful time. Come on, let me see your wave. This is my good friend. An amazing man, this guy that you see. Legendary when it comes to standing up against my God. Well done. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just praise the Lord where you are. Just praise the Lord. God is good. We're going to kick off by praying for peace. And we'd love to read some scripture about peace. And we know Jesus, our living Savior, is the one who is the Prince of Peace. He's the great peacemaker. Amen. And so he's the one we're going to call on hallelujah. as we pray together. We want to so hey thank you for joining us wherever you are we're out here at the africa unity square uh, where we're praying and we have a bunch of people that have come out to pray we're praying for our nation and we've decided that we're not going to stop praying we're not going to stop gathering uh, we're standing right here we're actually right opposite parliament that's that's parliament right there behind me the parliament of zimbabwe normally you wouldn't be allowed to stand here and to protest but we're here it's a protest prayer and we're going to be here every lunchtime from one to two up until uh, this resignation happens so it's a big undertaking by citizens but wherever you are i want to ask you to do us a favor do every zimbabwean a favor don't lose hope don't give up don't be depressed don't feel like we're losing the battle because we're not losing the battle we're winning the battle why do i say we're winning the battle the things that we are doing right now we've never been able to do it's a first for us and that's exciting that's a breakthrough in itself we will never give up or let go of these very things that we've been able to do so a, a wonderful and momentous occasion i know that many of you have heard that the president gave a speech yesterday and you don't know people don't know what kind of a speech it was or what he was talking about that's beside the point the point is that you and i have stood up and we've demanded that he resigns we've demanded that we want a different and new zimbabwe and that voice 
is going to be heard. So God bless you. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to go back so you can see more and more of the people that are here with us today. But we've we've stood up. The, the University of Zimbabwe students are on their way. They're coming to join us here at the Africa Unity Square. And we're keeping up. We're keeping up. Keeping up the momentum as we demand that Mugabe must go and that we want a new government that is a transitional and inclusive government for everybody and that we want a Zimbabwe that respects our constitution. So hey, I'm going to go back so you can see more and more people and you can also participate in the prayer that's taking place here today. Zimbabwe is rising. We're rising. Here we Peace. Nothing, nothing that we would have planned as a nation will, will be successful. So let's go ahead and pray. Father, we want to thank you for everybody who is in this place today. We want to thank everybody who has taken their time to come and join us here as Zimbabweans. We want to speak as Zimbabweans, Jehovah, that our hearts may be open, up and, uh, open to you and our hearts may be peaceful. We pray, Jehovah, that if our hearts are not peaceful today, nothing that we want as a nation shall come to pass. We pray, together. Jehovah, that the peace that is in our hearts surpasses every understanding. That the peace that is in our hearts may come to a place where we forgive ourselves, where we forgive ourselves as a nation, that we may have let it go for this long, that we may have, that we may have stood, um, we may have stood in such hardships for this long and we may not have forgiven ourselves for putting our families through this. But today, my God, I want to pray for our hearts, Jehovah, that you, my God, may trickle the Holy Spirit upon our hearts, my God, that they may, our hearts may be open to you, Jehovah, that everything that we may need in our hearts, People are out. We want to people pray for our minds. People have come out saying, lunchtime. Let this to mind pray. that was in Christ We're Jesus praying for our be minds. in you also. The word of God also says, Blessed is the man or woman whose mind is stayed on the Lord. So we want to pray and say whatever is happening about lying vanities. Our mind as Zimbabweans are stayed on the Lord because this nation is founded on Christian principality. Principles. So we are going to look unto God. We are not going to look unto men because men are just but agents being used of God. So I want you to pray for your mind and say, My mind is stayed on God. My mind is the like the mind of Christ Jesus. As we continue to pray for peace, pray for yourself, pray for your families, pray for the leaders, pray for the church. It's time that the church arises. 
in Jesus' mighty name. And the saints of the Lord said, Amen. Wow. We're Let me lead us in a prayer for here. our actions and our nation. I wonder if in your here. groups you want to face outward to the different parts of our nation. North and south and east and west. My bearings are a bit bad here. But whichever way, face outward in your group and stretch your hands toward the nation. We're going to pray for our hands, our feet, our actions, that they would be peaceful and that peace would reign in Zimbabwe. Lord, that's our declaration for our nation, Zimbabwe. That we would be a peaceful nation. We know, Lord, that that starts with us, with each one of us here having peaceful actions with our hands, with our feet, with our lips, with our mouths. We pray, Lord God, that we would be a peace-loving people, a people who make peace, who go into conflict and bring peace, the peace of our Lord Jesus, which passes all understanding, which is beyond measure, beyond understanding. So, Lord, we pray for from Kariba, Lord God. We pray to Mutare. We pray for Bulawayo and for Bybridge and right up to the northern Zambezi you are Zimbabwe, on our borders, Lord, we ask you for peace in our nations. We, for we our cry nation. out to you, Lord God, for a peaceful nation. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege you've given us of living in this nation, Zimbabwe. You're the one in your sovereignty. You've determined the boundaries in which we live. You've determined the times and seasons in which we live, Lord God. So we give you praise and honor and thanks for this great privilege of being peacemakers in Zimbabwe at this time. And we pray for your peace over our nation. May it cover this nation in Jesus' name. Amen. I have a quick word for us about our Zimbabwean flag. You can see the white represents peace. And that white is like an arrow going through all the colors of this flag. May the peace of God go throughout our nation just as this arrow points through our nation and invades our nation. The hearts and minds and actions of everyone in our nation. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sean. We're praying for our nation and we're believing God for a new Zimbabwe. Amen. Now, before we invite our next minister to come forward, I'm going to ask Marshall to come and read a scripture because some of us might have had a bad night. But you know, God has an answer to all these things. And Marshall will just share a scripture. That should encourage our hearts. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Uh, good to see you all. I'm going to read from the New King's James Version, Psalm 30, verse 5. And it says, For his anger is but for a moment, his feather is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah. I thought I'd hear a bigger hallelujah for it. Come here. I felt very stressful night. Amen. 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 Joy comes in the morning. Yes. Morning is coming, Zimbabwe. Yes. There is a morning that's coming. Yes. It's guaranteed. It's on its way. Yes. Let's not faint. Let's not give up yes. before we see that morning. I'm going to invite Pastor Evans Mawarire to come and lead us on a section that will pray into our freedom. <laughs> Say freedom. 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 We thank God for our freedom fighters. We thank God for the people who fought for the liberation of this nation. We thank God for the law which they have paid. We thank God that, you know, without them, we might have had more difficulties. But guess what? This country still needs freedom. Yeah. And so this country still needs freedom fighters. Yeah. Okay, let me just end there. Pastor Evans. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. We're going to pray. I'm going to lead in prayer concerning freedom. It is, first of all, a God-given right that every man and every woman be free and not live in bondage. It is second of all in Zimbabwe a constitutional right that you enjoy your freedom. And our constitution has various freedoms that are expressed. During 
this time, we want to ask God that this would become the new normal. Where we are free. I will use the scripture, the Bible says, whom the sun sets free is Free One more time, who the sun sets free is free. is free indeed. I'm here to announce and to pray together with you that it is time for Zimbabwe and Zimbabweans to be free indeed. And so as we pray this afternoon, we shall address the various principalities of bondage. The physical ones that we know and see and the spiritual ones. Are you ready to pray? I'm going to ask you to, as a sign of freedom, if you can, for however long you can, if you've got your flag with you, I'll ask you to lift up both your hands with your flag in your hand. If you don't have your flag in your hands, lift up both your hands as a sign of a free person. So we surrender to God, but we are free from the oppression of our nation. Father, our God, this afternoon, from the small nation of Zimbabwe. We lift up our hands, we lift up our nation as a sign of declaring our freedom today. We are a people that must now enjoy the freedom of God. We are now a nation that must enjoy the freedom that comes with our constitution. Father, we speak this afternoon against every form of bondage. Father, we thank you that your word says in Psalm 121, I look to the hills, where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Your children have cried and prayed day and night for 37 years. We ask that now this is the season that you answer their prayers. We pray today symbolically standing beside our parliament. We have never been allowed to pray next to this parliament. But we speak freedom in this parliament. That the voices of the citizens of Zimbabwe are heard clearly in this parliament. No longer will the will of the people of Zimbabwe be subverted in this parliament. Redeem this parliament. Baba Kuba Nasi, Mu Parliament Yupani Atakamira Yupato. But I'm going to ask all of you if you can turn to the parliament building and stretch your hands out towards that parliament building. We want to pray against every bondage that is crafted in that building. Chese Chakaipa, Chakaipa on parliament, Kuti Chesungevan, Nasit Nulaku Chibata, Chochit Sura Vadikan. Dwam Kanawedu, this is our chance to uproot every evil law that was or is being planned to be passed in that parliament so that we are free. I'm going to ask you to pray in your own words as I pray. Father, we thank you for the parliament of Zimbabwe. Father, as we look at it, as we stand a few meters away from it, we pray that from today onwards, there would be no evil law passed, crafted to oppress your people. Father, in this nation, we have young people, we have orphans, we have widows, we have our senior citizens. They have been put in bondage because laws in that building have been made that way. But now, oh God, we declare a new season. Your word says to us again, when the Lord turned around the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed. So Lord, we thank you that this is not a dream, but it's reality. Today we declare the end of bondage in Zimbabwe. Bondage, you are gone. 
Jesu madambu ya makashi Jesu maziki nuramana Baba mativi sapa kusungwa We are removed We are free We are removed We are going to pray I'm going to lead in prayer concerning freedom It is first of all A God given right That every man and every woman be free And not live in bondage it is second of all in Zimbabwe a constitutional right that you enjoy your freedom and our constitution has various freedoms that are expressed during this time we want to ask God that this would become the new normal where we are free I will use the scripture the Bible says whom the Sun sets free is one more time, who the sun sets free is is free indeed. I'm here to announce and to pray together with you that it is time for Zimbabwe and Zimbabweans to be free indeed. And so as we pray this afternoon, we shall address the various principalities of bondage. The physical ones that we know and see and the spiritual ones. Are you ready to pray? I'm going to ask you, to, as a sign of freedom if you can for however long you can if you've got your flag with you I'll ask you to lift up both your hands with your flag in your hand if you don't have your flag in your hands lift up both your hands as a sign of a free person so we surrender to God but we are free from the oppression of our nation father our God this afternoon from the small nation of Zimbabwe we lift up our hands we lift up our nation as a sign of declaring our freedom today. We are a people that must now enjoy the freedom of God. We are now a nation that must enjoy the freedom that comes with our constitution. Father, we speak this afternoon against every form of bondage. Baba tinotuka kusunga kwese wakaitwa vanamenyu. Baba tino kumbira kutimuti zikinure Pakubachi kwa kwa takai kwa munika ino Tarai muone ishe vana menyu Mano nyumanoone skwa moto ishe Yalanguwe ya kutitichuona kuna kakwenyu Baba tizikinure Father we thank you That your word says in Psalm 121 I look to the hills Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth. Di notare sa kuma komo. Rubati ror wangur guno bakupi ko. Rubati ror wangur no bakuna Jehovah. Uyo akagazi ra pasi ne denga. Baba chipindi ra imuni kaya Zimbabwe. Manave yuva chema mabanzwa. Your children have cried and prayed day and night for 37 years. We ask that now this is the season that you answer their prayers. We pray today symbolically, standing beside our parliament. We have never been allowed to pray next to this parliament. But we speak freedom in this parliament. That the voices of the citizens of Zimbabwe are heard clearly in this parliament. No longer will the will of the people of Zimbabwe be subverted in this parliament. Redeem this parliament. Babaku Vanasi, the parliament Iripani Atakamira Iripapo. But I'm gonna ask all of you if you can turn to the parliament building and stretch your hands out towards that parliament building. We want to pray against every bondage that is crafted in that building. Chese Chakaipa. Chakai to Amparamed, Kutichisungevan, Nasit Nona Kuchipata, Tochit Sura Vadikan. Dwam Kanawedu, this is our chance to uproot every evil law that was or is being planned to be passed in that parliament so that we are free. I'm going to ask you to pray in your own words as I pray. Father, we thank you for the parliament of Zimbabwe. Father, as we look at it, as we stand a few meters away from it, we pray that from today onwards, there would be no evil law passed, crafted to oppress your people. 
Father, in this nation, we have young people, we have orphans, we have widows, we have our senior citizens. They have been put in bondage because laws in that building have been made that way. But now, oh God, we declare a new season. Your word says to us again, when the Lord turned around the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed. So Lord, we thank you that this is not a dream, but it's reality. Today we declare the end of bondage in Zimbabwe. Bondage, you are gone. Jesu matapura makashi. Jesu matziki nuramana. Baadama tipi isa papusungwa. We are removed. We are free. We are removed. We are free. All across Zimbabwe, we declare the freedom. We declare the freedom of our people. Everybody shouts freedom. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on. Give a big round of applause, a big shout this afternoon. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor E. We, we're going to sing a song. We'll sing a song as we celebrate our freedom, as we celebrate the peace that we are praying for in this country. And we will invite God Almighty to intervene in our nation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're just going to declare that he is the Lord of this nation. meaning Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. He is song ishe wemba ino tona mata singing but I want to invite you know three or four people who want to come and pray you know just short prayers into the peace into the freedom that we have been praying into so if you want to come and pray come to the front I just want three or at the most four people as we continue singing <laughs> Tonga imairi dimiche dimi isewe mbaino tona mata tonga imairi huya i huya i Jesu huya mu tonge ishe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That Zimbabwe may be built on the rock called Jesus Christ. As we hear his word, as we do his word. God will not be confused. 
Babat look ten die, Mascata, not look ten die, the Yika is in Bakwe, Yika Kaisona, Kaidenzi, Cinema Como, Yika in the Mapo, Mosua, Tuya, Yika in the Vadu, Cassiana, Siana, Yika in the Vadu, and Nochka Mari, Donya Cretera Marguti, Titonia, Puchka Mari, Putimu Zimbabwe, Yika Yosa is able to address Zimbabwe, Vanochka Mari, Van Zimbabwe, Vaneru Garen, Runyara. President Mugabe and Mai Mugabe. Don't you get out to Masunungure, Masunungure, Muise Kuchkamari, Mumoyo Mao, Muise Rugare, Wakuskamari Moyo Mao. This presentation is to let you get out to Misa Rugare, no Kuchkamari, Isai Kuchkamari, Mumoyao, Isai Kuchkamari, Mumadisha, Muma Minister, Isai Kuchkamari, Mu Parliament, Isai Kuchkamari, Muma Church, Mama Church, and Mwari the fear of the Lord and God said to men, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil, that is understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah in the name of the Almighty God. Amen. Amen. It is not by mighty or by power, but by the Spirit of God. We want to thank the Lord this afternoon for He has intervened in the nation of Zimbabwe. For it is God who changes times. He sets up kings and removes kings. Now without God, we cannot do anything. This is the will of God and the plan of God. Whatever is happening in the nation is about God Almighty. That is Praise the Lord. So that there is a smooth transition. So that Mugabe is going to relinquish power this weekend. So that things are going to change for everybody. Let's start to pray. Lift up your hands, everybody. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we glorify your name this afternoon. We exalt your name this afternoon. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. For you said it in your own way that you are the one who changes times according to Daniel 2 verse 19. You set up kings and removes kings. Oh Father, help us, oh God. We are a suffering nation. We have been suffering for too long. We are like the children of Israel who had suffered for 430 years in Egypt, but we have just interfered. We prayed to you, oh my Lord. You have answered us your prayers. You have answered us your Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We glorify your name. We exalt your name high. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. amen. A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you. We are many out there in the diaspora. We are many. We think about you all the time. Jesus, bring these children home. Bring them home. Give us one vote, one man in the diaspora who will come home. that you are the God of love and you were with us on Saturday and you were with us yesterday and you're with us today and you will be with us tomorrow in Jesus name we thank you for your love and your spirit guiding this nation at this time in Jesus name Amen. Amen. and we're going to carry on we're out of time so we need to move fast thank you thank you I did say three or four so we've had our uh, three or four volunteers Thank God for the desire to pray in the city of Harare. I'm going to invite our good pastor, um, 
uh, Anshalumo Makaya to come and lead us on a prayer for justice. Bishop Makaya, where are you? Oh, there he is. Excellent. Uh, give him a hand, people. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise God in the highest. I just want us to try this song before I, I lead us into prayer. The church is moving now. The church is moving now. Nothing is going to stop her now. It's a very, very easy song. And I just want you to just be following what I'm gonna be singing from here. The church is moving on, moving on, moving on. glorify his precious name. We are here to declare permanence in the freedoms that we are enjoying today. We are here to declare permanence in the peace that we are enjoying now. And we are here to decree and to release the justice of God in this nation. And this is what we're going to be praying for. You know, when we are talking about justice, we are merely talking about the fair application of the law. We are talking about the fact that law applies mutatis mutatis, applies the same everywhere, all over. It doesn't apply X on Y, it applies B on the other. It has got to be universal. Now you will agree with me that our nation has gone through phases of darkness characterized in the acts of injustice. Hallelujah. And we are praying that God will bring that season to an end. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We want God to bring a season of injustice to an end. Amen, amen. I will, we will have us read the word of God from Amos chapter number 5. Amos chapter number 5, verses 21 to 24. Amos chapter 5, verses 21 to 24. I hate, I despise your feasts, and I take no delight in your solemn assemblies. Even though you offer me your best offerings and cereal offerings, I will not accept them. And the peace offerings of your fattened beasts, I will not look upon them. Take away from me the noise of your songs. To the melody of your harps, I will not listen. Verse 24. But let justice roll down like waters, and righteousness like an ever flowing stream. May God bless the living. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, give to God a big shout of praise now. How God hates fists. How God hates those mega, endless, uh, perfecting conferences that you conduct in your churches. God hates them. God hates, you know, gatherings in stadiums. As long as these gatherings will not translate in uh, an open declaration against injustice. What it all means is that uh, result in the proclamation of God's mind for justice. I mean, a lot of our churches are very guilty of this. In our churches, we have not practiced justice. 
a lot of the men of God have spoken to authorities. The truth of God regards to their acts of injustices. And so God, when he beholds and when God looks at our conferences, God is helpful of those conferences. Whatever and whenever we gather in our Bible studies, in our crusades, the ultimate end should be the mind of God on justice. Hallelujah. Now we just want to pray. We, we have had all sorts of injustice in our country. We have witnessed uh, disappearances. I mean, uh, one of the latest is a disappearance of Ithaq Zamar. And I, we would demand a genuine inquiry into the abduction of Ithaq Zamar. Whoever is replacing President Mugabe, if you, you know, you will have to, to be true to, to your call and to your option. You need to set up an inquiry of the disappearance of Ita Tamara and many more disappearances. And these people are running freely as we speak. The voice of justice is crying. I want us to raise our voices right now and speak God's mind for justice in this our nation. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to pray God that you descend on this our nation. We want to pray God that you descend. Yes, my God, with the voice of justice, we pray God that you descend. My God and my Father, yes, with, uh, yes, a uh, visible image of justice, uh, an act of justice, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, the word of God says, let justice uh, flow like rivers, uh, and let righteousness uh, flow like an ever-ending stream. Uh, we pray, my God, uh, that in our churches there be justice, uh, that in our households there be justice, uh, that in our parliament there be justice. That in every government sector there be justice. That in our courts of law, Lord, that there be justice. In the name of Jesus, we speak justice, Mary. Mary to the disappearance and abduction of Itai Tamara. I decree and I declare right now, renewed restlessness in the life of whoever has coordinated, has instigated, has allowed and promoted, authorized these abductions in the name of Jesus. Lord, I release restlessness and chaos in Jesus' name for the sake of your people. Now, as we conclude, I want you to understand that, you see, if this, our justice, our justice system is not going to work, there is a divine justice system up there. Praise God in the highest. I mean, that is the reason why things are happening the way they are happening right now. I personally do not regret praying a release of confusion and divine intervention, divine justice. Where the courts of justice have failed to do so. God says it. And a careful reading of the scriptures demonstrate that God will cause justice to happen where we fail to execute it. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes, the cleansing and the cleaning up that God is doing right now in the current system isn't ended. God is not yet done. There are many more people that are still protected. Let us just finally pray together on the basis of the word of God, a release of God's divine justice in our nation. Father, in Jesus' name, you did, you did it, Lord, in the book of Chronicles, Second Chronicles, chapter number 2, chapter 20, Lord, where the three allied forces, engineered, confessed, and connived 
to rise against the people of God. We witness the Moabites and the Ammonites. Yes, releasing Assadites to their kept alive inhabitants of Mount Seir. And when Jehoshaphat thought that uh, it was done, justice was over, the two nations then rose against each other. This is the doing of the Lord, and it is marvelous in his sight. My God, I decree and I proclaim the visible acts of God in this season. Cleanse the system. Divinely intervene in the name of Jesus. And all God's people shout Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Bishop, for that very clear call for justice. Even if we don't do it, God will bring justice to Zimbabwe. I think we heard that clearly. Amen. I'm going to invite Marshall to read the scripture as we are coming to the conclusion of the prayer. Marshall. Hallelujah. I'm still reading from the New King James Version. We are reading chapter 22 of the book of Ezekiel, verse 29 and 30. And it says, The people of the land have used oppressions, committed robbery, and mistreated the poor and needy. And they wrongfully oppressed the stranger. So I sought for a man among them who would make a wall and stand in the gap before me on behalf of the land that I should not destroy it, but I found no one. That's a sad scripture. God himself says, I looked for a man or a person to stand in the gap for the land, but I found no one. But I thank God that you have turned up today and you're gonna turn up tomorrow to stand in the gap for Zimbabwe. We are committing ourselves to stand in that gap for Zimbabwe. But I, I want to make a heartfelt call to our church leaders in our country. We know that up to 80% of Zimbabwe is Christian. We know that the country has thousands of churches. And what we are asking for is for the leaders to come forward and lead the people. We are asking for the church leaders to step forward and lead the people. We have many organizations that represent the Christian communities. We have the heads of Christian denominations. We have the Catholic Bishops Conference. We have the Evangelical Fellowship of Zimbabwe. We have UT Caesar. We have other organizations like the Christian Alliance. These are all leaders in the church. And today we are making that call to you leaders. Come and lead the people. The least you can do is to come and lead us in prayer for the nation. The least you can do is to gather with us and pray with us every day at lunchtime. Now can I give you a challenge for all of you who can hear me right now and who are standing here at the Africa Unity Square. Can you ask your pastor to come here tomorrow and pray with us? Can you ask your bishop to come here tomorrow and lead us in prayer? Can you ask your spiritual leader to come here tomorrow?